When working an on-screen takeoff, you can perform a simple copy and paste to easily duplicate your takeoff. To do this, you can select the piece of takeoff you want to copy and right-click. Then, choose Copy. Next, right-click where you'd like to paste the object, and then choose Paste. Once the object has been pasted, you can use the Select tool to then drag and drop the object into place. There's an additional tool within OST that can potentially make this process even more efficient. It's called Intelligent Paste. The idea behind Intelligent Pasting is that you can copy and paste an object once, and then repeat that paste using the same distance and direction you used for your original copy and paste for each additional pasting. This is perfect for a row of identical offices down a hallway, for example. To use this feature, you must first enable it in the program settings. Navigate to the Tools menu at the top of the screen. Then, select Options. In the Options window, select the checkbox next to Enable Intelligent Paste. Then press OK to save the change. Back on the image, click on the item you want to copy, then right-click and select Copy. Next, right-click and select Paste. Now use the Select tool to drag the pasted item into place. Notice that now a pair of red dotted lines appear, which help you align the pasted item into a snap zone relative to the original copied item. Once you release the mouse to set the pasted item into place, a pop-up displays telling you that any additional paste you perform with this item continue using the same distance and direction increments as this original paste. To see what this means, let's use the Windows keyboard shortcut to paste, which is Control and V. As you press the Paste hotkey, more items are now pasted down the row at the same distance and direction increment as your original copy and paste. Note that this feature works when pasting either horizontally or vertically in relation to the original item. You're not limited by which direction you choose to paste. A common obstacle people encounter when trying to use this feature is the inability to move their pasted object into the correct place. This happens specifically when trying to paste linear objects. To fix this, Go to the Tools menu again at the top of the screen and select Options. Then, deselect the checkbox next to Restrict Lateral Movement of Linear Objects. Now, you should have a full range of motion when placing your pasted linear objects and can make full use of the Intelligent Paste feature.